Well, as you know, it's tax season, and many local folks need help getting those taxes filed. Thankfully, help is here. Nibby Priest is back with us. It's always good to see you, my it's friend. It's always good to be on your so show, Angie. Well, this is we were just talking about how important this is, this program. So how does it actually work to get well, their tax done through what you're doing? It is a program that goes on all over the United States. Some people call it VITA, Volunteer Income Tax Assistance. We just call it here in Henderson, Free Tax Preparation at the Housing Authority. Okay, that's good. And uh, they come in. I bring all your tax documents. We sit down with you, consult with you. You leave it with us, and we schedule you an appointment to come back. We're doing everything by appointment this year, and we're, done, we're asking that you call us or text us. That's the thing we really oh, that's like. Neat. Text us, and the phone number is on your screen there. And uh, make an appointment and bring your stuff in, and we'll make you another appointment to come and pick it up. It's all turned around in less than a week. And we can take care of families that have household incomes less than $72,000, and that takes care of a whole lot of people in our area. Yes, we it take does. care of Kentucky people as well as the Indiana people. Pretty much everyone that's in your listening uh, audience here today, we can, we can take care of them. Well, maybe you've been doing this a while, so do you find that people know all the documents they're supposed there, to bring, or are there still questions? They, there are still questions. You know, we need your W-2s. We do have to see a picture ID and a Social Security card for everyone in the household. And any, anything that comes to you as tax documents, you need to bring in to us. And sometimes people forget certain documents, and we have to send them back home. But we work with everyone, and we get their taxes done for them. So what, with the child, child tax credit and all these other interesting changes. How does that impact what you're doing? Well, you know, this year, one of our big goals is to make sure that everyone gets everything they're supposed to get as far as these new refundable credits with the child tax credit. And then, of course, the increased deduction for child care credit, uh, people that pay for uh, daycare, uh, getting, they can get more, uh, take more as a deduction for that child uh, daycare and just making sure that they get everything that they're supposed to get included in their tax return to get them the biggest refund they can possibly get. How, and what do they ask you about the stimulus checks and how that plays well, into their income? You know, the, the big thing about the stimulus check, you know, they came earlier in Jan or March of 2021 right. and everybody has forgotten that they've got their stimulus check, Angie. That has been, uh, and when they go back and inquire with their bank, they realized they did get it. So, because it was a direct deposit for yes, almost most everyone. Of, right, most, of most of them, them yes, were. were direct deposits. But so, that's what people have been forgetting. Did I actually get my stimulus check or not? Well, more than likely, you got it. And how does that come into play when you're, when you're filing your taxes? Well, you know, if they know they didn't get it and they've checked with their bank and everything, uh, we, can, we can place it uh, uh, in their tax return and they can get it uh, whenever they, do, they file their 2021 tax So they would still be eligible, yes, but if they, they didn't get, get it, it. But the likelihood of that, I would guess, is not great. It's right? not as great. You know, most of the people that definitely didn't get that stimulus check and that was issued in 2021, they know about it, and they've been trying to get it ever since it was announced. Well, that's really interesting. We, we haven't talked about it in so long. Yes, the people have forgotten it, if they have it or not, Angie. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. So how long are you going to be doing this program? We are going to be open until April the 12th. Of course, okay. the, the tax uh, filing deadline this year is extended to April the 18th due to the Emancipation Day in Washington, D.C., and so the IRS has you know, allowed people till April the 18th. But unfortunately, our volunteer staff, and those we're all, all, all volunteers, this is not my main gig. <laughs> this is just, you know, like you talk about in your promo commercial, the do-gooders. Yeah. <laughs> I, the this do is one of the things that... That I feel like that I can do good by helping people get their taxes done. Well, and it is a good thing. And but we're only those us volunteers, and there's 25 of us. I'm not the only one that's doing it. We have 25 community volunteers that are very passionate about the program and want to help these people get their taxes done. But we're only going to be doing it until April the 12th, and they need to call or text us and get an appointment. And we're doing it at the Housing Authority, and. It's just a great program. I do want to say that it's not uh, something that I'm putting together. This is a coordinated effort between the Volunteer and Information Center in Henderson, the Housing Authority in Henderson, and the Green River Asset Building Coalition out of Owensboro. Help pull all this program together and provide the services. Well, on behalf of everyone who will use it, thank you, Nibby. And thank you, Angie, for caring about the community. And I really do. I love my Henderson friends. We'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this. Stick around.